have this weird feeling d4 is going to be a fail maybe not the beginning uh gil d4 is going to fail probably within three months maybe two if you look at what d4 really offers for end game there's really nothing there it's it feels like a mix of diablo 2 and diablo 3 they're not innovating on like the arpg like lost arc technically is going to offer more content than d4 which is really sad it's really sad yeah in my opinion d4 is not going to do very well it looks good but there's nothing special about it. It doesn't offer any cool shit. It looks very like they're behind like 10 years, you know? That's what it looks like. They're like they're making a game for 2012 with the graphics of 2023. Like if you look at all the gameplay and again, like a lot, not the gameplay but like even the MO open world element. I would say as much as people think like man i wish the world was open world it is the smallest thing that matters open world or instance based sorry not open world or like um a, a zone that is part of the world that's like you have like loading screens is such a small matter like i don't think many players really care about it if a zone is big enough it doesn't matter as long as there's something to do in the zone I don't think it really matters for an ARPG to be open world or not. And also, even if it is, it's that's not innovative. Like it's such a non-issue, right? To say that it's like this Diablo 4 world is going to be open world. You can travel everywhere. Cool. What can I do in this world? That's really what matters at the end of the day, right? So if there's nothing to do in the world, then, <laughs> you know, it's like, <laughs> Who cares? And the boss is like nothing in Diablo 4. So here's the thing. Did you play Diablo 1, Diablo 2? I believe you did, right? Diablo 2 for sure. But did you play Diablo 1? Okay, let's assume you play Diablo 1 because uh, I don't know how long it takes until uh, you can uh, hear me say, <laughs> hear me ask it. So let's assume you play Diablo 1. No, you play Diablo 2. What was the biggest issue with Diablo 3 that is going to be an issue with Diablo 4 that was not was what made Diablo 1 and 2 so good? First of all, Diablo 1 was a lot more customizable, but even let's say that's not it. There is nothing dangerous about the game. Diablo 1 and Diablo 2 are dangerous as fuck. If you over like if you just, you know, unless like you're a speedrunner and you just skip a lot of stuff and you just do the bosses, whatever. But if you're actually playing the game normally, like a new player, you're going to die in Diablo 2. You're going to die in Diablo 1. Like a lot. If you're completely new, right? In Diablo 3, unless you set the game to like hard mode and beyond, you're not going to die. Like you can stand in everything. You're not going to die. There's absolutely no threat to the player in Diablo 3. Diablo 4 is exactly the same thing and making the game being like having the ability to make like well now you can make it harder if you want and like mobs will have more HP and damage is not a good like a fun solution right it's just it's like why would I arbitrarily make the game harder for myself it makes no fucking sense right it's like for what for like a bit of a benefit to xp it's better like if like if you think about the xp then it's better for you to just play it on like the easiest difficulty and grab as many mobs as possible nuke them down reset the game and try again then play it on hard and go slowly through the story it's like oh but it's more immersive on hard is it though you know i i want the main difficulty to be punishing right and it's like diablo 1 one of the most memorable things in diablo 1 is level 2 the butcher room right one of the most memorable things in diablo 2 was literally the as soon as you leave the first map 
So you go out the camp, you do the blood more, and then you go to cold plains, and these massive fucking yetis are charging at you. You're like, holy fuck. Right? And then the archer, like Blood Raven, and then Andario. All of these. Yeah, you did. Okay. So, yeah. All of these aspects made Diablo 2 great. What is memorable in Diablo 3? Deckard Kane that you saved him again? There's nothing memorable in Diablo 3 that I can think of that was like, oh shit, this is cool. Maybe Belial to an extent, but because the story was so poorly told that it was like, who cares? The Belial fight was kind of okay though. For 2013, I guess it was fine. But there's nothing really in Diablo 3 that was like captivating. That was like, holy shit. The gameplay was good, but you know, that was pretty much it. There's nothing, nothing in Diablo 3. And Diablo 4 feels exactly the same thing. So exactly the same way. All right. If you play PoE, let's say this. If PoE decided to upgrade their graphics, zoom out a little bit, you got yourself the perfect Diablo 4 game. That's all it is. Because PoE offers way more customizable uh, builds. Like, I don't like this mentality and uh, this is also like goes into mmorpgs i really don't like that they're forcing you into a class archetype which is why eso does it in my opinion better because even though yeah you're templar and you have some abilities because you can take abilities that everyone else can use from the weapon from the armor from the guilds and stuff like that you can actually play a templar without using any Templar abilities. And you can play a, uh, a Dark Knight the same exact way. 